on ABC Radio Brisbane, you're listening to Breakfast with Loretta Ryan and Joel Spreadborough. Hey, Jeff, thank you for waking up for us. Very much appreciated. What what has surprised you the most about making this documentary, I guess going back to where it all began 30 years ago? Lots of surprises with images and things that we'd forgotten about. So <laughs> it's, uh, it was something that was brought to us to... The idea for the whole documentary that that came to us and, and it was suggested that, that that the thirty years should be put together and and um, we were a little bit apprehensive at the start because we didn't know what to expect but our apprehension was laid to rest uh, by uh, Fraser and um, and Sally who who were behind the making of it and they, they, they had to sort through a lot of a lot of footage and things so my, I take my hat off to them. It was so interesting watching it and seeing those early days. And when you, before the early days before the coloured shirts and the skivvies, um, <laughs> when did the whole t shirt, the coloured t shirts and the coloured skivvies come into it? Oh, that came in for our second album in 1992. I think we had uh, some thoughts about those initial t- uh, initial shirts, if you've seen those. They're pretty yeah. garish. <laughs> um, we were kind of glad to get out of them, to be honest. And the, the skivvy, the, the, the coloured skivvies just stuck then because it became such an iconic kind of look. It, it made it very easy for children to identify us by our colours. And it just made sense. So it was a much better look and we're very glad that it did stick. And you guys started out um, as, as trainee teachers, didn't you? You were actually studying to go into the class room with kids. So how much of it did you put into your work with the Wiggles? A lot of it, yeah. Murray, Anthony and myself, Greg, we we began as teachers, early childhood teachers. And the Wiggles would not have been as successful had we not had that background. If we had just been four musicians trying to write songs for children, it, it would most likely not have worked. Everything that we learned about children and how they think and how to teach a child in the classroom, teaching strategies that we learned, we applied to what we did with the Wiggles. And I think I think the documentary captures a lot of that really well. Mm. And, you know, it looks at the science behind what made the Wiggles tick. It wasn't just four blokes in skivvies running around looking silly. Well, I mean, we did look silly on screen, but <laughs> there was a science behind what we did. It certainly worked. Uh, ABC Radio Brisbane, you're hearing from Greg Page and Jeff Fat, the original yellow and purple wiggle. Now, I don't want to give too much away, but just I just want to tip into one thing here, guys. Is it true that the hot potato wasn't always a hot potato? <laughs> It was a hot tamale. Hot tamale! (laughs) To begin with, yes. And that's the whole children thing coming back to it because why did you change the name from tamale to potato? Well, what's a tamale? (laughs) Exactly. exactly So we had to make it something that kids would recognise and understand and be familiar with. So here in Australia, you know, hot potato. So, yeah, we we changed it for that reason. But that that is the science of it, making sure that it's something that connects with a child and their world. Not just the children, though. There's so many images of Parents dancing, singing <laughs> yeah. along at your concerts, guys, and you'd get a lot of accolades from, from that, from older people saying, we love you so much. How do you take that on? What does it mean to you to get appreciation from older people? I think that was a testament to, um, as, uh, the, I guess I'd like to say, the catchiness of the tunes and um, and, and that extended from uh, well, my, my time in The Cockroaches with Anthony, um, the ability to write a great pop song, so... Yeah, and I think too, um, certainly the the connection for parents was because their children were so invested in, in the Wiggles, the children loved it so much, that the parents really appreciated that connection for the, the children. And I've got to say too, don't forget Anthony was Cleo Bachelor of the Year. Yes. <laughs> and I, I think that might have had something to do with it for the mums. That helps, yeah, <laughs> sure. That's so true. Um, what about yourselves? Did you have a band or singers that you remember when you were toddlers? Oh, I certainly do. This is Greg speaking. I, I loved John Denver, the folk singer. Yeah. He was somebody I really looked up to. I loved his voice. It was so pure. Um, a lot of his songs, you know, Country Roads, Take Me Home. And I wrote letters to John Denver wanting to meet him. So I can certainly understand that connection that people have with music and wanting to meet the person behind it. So that that was for me, John Denver. What about you, Jeffy? Um, Oh, look, I used to watch black and white TV. It was, it was yeah. like Romper Room. I know, me too. Romper Room was yeah, there for wow. me. Yeah, that's right. You guys, 30 years on, are you guys the original members? We've seen a lot of changes over the years, line-up changes, all sorts of things happen. Has that essence of the Wiggles been maintained? 
Yeah, it has, and that's why it's still around today. I think the, the minute that the Wiggles lose the connection with the early childhood philosophy that underpins everything, I think that's when it will lose its appeal and it will lose its connection with the audience because that's what it's built on. It's built on putting the child first and making sure that whatever is created has something that resonates with a, a children's audience. And the minute that it's um, not created from that perspective, I think that's when it will lose its connection. So it, hats off to Anthony. I mean, that blue wiggle, we can't get that blue skivvy <laughs> off of him. He just wants to keep wearing it day in, day out. He, I think he'll be doing it till the day he dies, and God bless him for that because he really is a creative genius. And so much of what the wiggles is about and why it works comes from his um, you know, crazy <laughs> well, genius it, mind. Uh, his energy. He's yeah, got a lot he's of energy. so much energy. Well, thank you so much for everything that you've done. Um, 30 years and this, for over 30 years, and this wonderful documentary, it's really worth looking at that story. Greg Page and Jeff Fat. thank you so much for talking to us. Oh, Thanks, Loretta. Loretta. Thanks, Thanks, Joel. Loretta. Thanks, Joel. This is ABC Radio Brisbane with Loretta Ryan and Joel Spreadbrook.